Hi, right, good afternoon. Welcome back to another vlog here on Coaster Crazy. Yes, I'm back at Legoland. And yeah, I was at uh, Leeds this weekend and it still is the weekend. We set off from Wakefield this morning and not long got home really. And I thought, might as well pop to uh, Legoland because it's open for uh, Brick Week, which is actually more than a week because it's open until the end of, sort of basically the end of February and then it's closed until like the 17th of March and then it opens again for the season. So yeah, it's not the best days for filming. <laughs> I'm not gonna be here long. I mean, it's, what time is it now? It's 10 to two, it closes at four, it opened at 10. Uh, so yeah, brick week, uh, not done a brick week before. It's basically half term February opening. There's a few, uh, few parks around the UK that are doing this uh, half term February. Um, openings. I mean, some of the parks. I've, I look, Chessington's only got like five rides open. Um, same with Drayton Manor. Obviously, Blackpool's open, but obviously with the weather, a lot of rides have been closed there as well. Sorry if there's any spots of rain on the camera, but it's it's absolutely awful. My glasses are covered already. But yeah, I'll show you around the park. Um, see if there's anything new. Last time we were here for Christmas, so they had the really cool Christmas tree just here. Um, yeah, and camera's covered in water already <laughs> it's a horrible day we've got another storm due in called uh, storm franklin so yeah the journey back down south from uh, yorkshire was awful um wasn't too bad when we got sort of further into the south of england and then i've just come here and yeah it's, it's just low cloud really really windy really wet and not very nice at all the only rides that are closed here at the moment are uh, the uh, the water rides are still closed you still can't go down that section there which was blocked off at christmas down towards the viking rapids rubbing rapids bro well yeah i hope you enjoyed the couple of funfair vlogs that i brought you from leeds yeah the little compton road fair was all right uh, it, it, the ground wasn't the best but it was i basically went to go and get on the coaster credit well not a credit because i've been on it like, like i told you like it was at frontierland so i'd been there um as a kid really and uh yeah it was a childhood classic ride for me was that and then we went to leeds um city center for the famous valentine's fair didn't realize it used to be at uh, well it should be at um the uh, football stadium uh, with a bigger bigger lineup of rides it wasn't again it wasn't great there was hardly no atmosphere at all there but the rides were all right we got on a few things it was just very cold and damp and not very nice at all the hotel we stayed in last night wakefield was was all right a holiday inn um if you don't know we took the dog with us so it was the first time we've taken the dog away for the weekend and she was absolutely fine she, she i think she woke up about half one in the morning we did take a crate with her because uh, she is crate trained and uh, yeah we just let her out and she slept on the bed with us most of the night it was all right hotel but it's one of those and it's still an expensive weekend away although i didn't really pay much for that fare at compton road and then i went on four rides in leeds the hotel we stayed at was like 96 pound for the night for two of us 15 pound extra charge for the dog and then the, the breakfast was 30 quid for two of us at like 14.99 each and it was one of them buffet style ones that you pick what you want so yeah <laughs> so so it's an expensive do like I, I i did say to a few friends on the way back that look, some of these long trips probably won't be happening that often now because we just can't afford it obviously with fuel as well fuel prices have gone up so uh yeah the cost of going up there was like filled up the tank and then we had to put a bit more in to get back down again so spent about 70 quid on fuel just getting there and back but yeah it's not the it's not the best day for uh for coming out to theme parks but at least it's opening um and and legoland has pretty much one of the best um so like times for parks really when it was open throughout christmas uh, and into early January and then it's back open again in sort of mid-February so it's only closed for about a month uh, in total and then it's back open again so yeah let's get down there see what we can find there is a new 
thing coming for this year. Uh, I think it's down there. It's like some sort of brick experience where you can build Lego brick models and things like that. So we'll go and have a look at that. Yeah, it is miserable today. But yeah, I, um, I forgot to mention that because I've got the season pass, I've, I've come in for free anyway, but I think it's about £25 for the Brick Week um, event. And it's free parking as well. So yeah, I don't have to worry about that. But yeah, in Miniland and it's <laughs> it's miserable. It's really bad today. I, I mean, I sort of expect that anyway. The weather's got to be bad all week. So yeah, it's not great for half term, is it really? With the kids wanting to do stuff and um, can't really do a lot with it being too wet. Yeah, so the new thing's over here coming soon. I did see, the, uh, did see this being built. At Christmas time, new for 22. So yeah, I think it's got to have some sort of more theming added to it. It doesn't look like it's finished yet. It's got like a yellow facade on it and like, I don't know, it's in a like Imagineering sort of place, the bricks. I thought it's supposed to have some sort of top on it as well to make it look like a, a big yellow brick. Or a big Lego brick, should I say, not yellow brick. But yeah, it's going to be yellow, yeah, the brick. Coming soon. Yeah, no nowhere near finished that yet. So yeah, I'll have a walk around, see what's open. Going on a few rides. I really do like it here, but I just wish there was a bit of covering in here, because bad weather, there's, you got to get wet. <laughs> you got to get wet, aren't you? So. Yeah, I'm only here for a couple of hours anyway. Oh look, they've got some uh, some models down here on the side. Oh yeah, that's interesting. They've taken them out of here. Oh, that's interesting to see. Oh, my camera is absolutely soaked. So yeah, they, these are getting. I tell you what, this is. I know what this is. Storm Eunice has bolt blown them all down, hasn't it? So they've had to. Yeah, they've. they've come apart from here and they've had to just put them to the side here yeah I hope, I hope they can fix these yeah I'm pretty sure that's what's happened or oh, they've taken the loose ones away yeah, I've never seen that before everything else looks all right oh they've moved the minis as well because there's like a road up this section here so they've moved the minis down here some of the uh, yeah there's a bit of damage on the top of that one there you can just see the edge of it oh dear yeah some of them are damaged from the wind oh what a shame so hopefully get some of these uh, repaired and put them back well, i might have a look around later see if there's anything else that's been uh, been damaged by the wind but yeah they've been here a long time so they've done well so i'm just walking past duplo dino coaster which is just here be beside me pretty much walk on there's not much of a queue for this yeah I did ask some of the staff about the models that are on the floor basically some of those were like due to be replaced or reconditioned anyway so I think they took them down just to make sure that they weren't damaged in the storm that we had yeah there's hardly a wait for that probably five or ten minutes for that but uh, no I ain't going on there I'll go and do some of the indoor rides <laughs> stay out of this rain but yeah, it's a good offering here, it really is. Uh, make sure you check the apps as well to see the times for stuff. I think Fairytale Brook is still closed, yeah. It's one of the water rides. A lot of the water rides are closed during winter times. Anyway, so the log flume of the rapids will be closed. Yeah, I'm so sorry about the quality of the vlog today. <laughs> Not much I can do. It's just constantly getting wet in my speakers are wet and every muffs are wet and yeah so yeah that's closed well yeah it's a good park i still know a lot of people that have never been here before i love lego i actually got the uh, the lego r2d2 for valentine's day and if i remember i'll stick a picture in now so you can see that but uh yeah It's a really good build, really good model that. <laughs> Love me Lego. Right, so first round going on Haunted House Monte Party. Advertised at 15 minutes. 
So I might as well, I did actually walk past, but I thought I might as well come and stand in a queue and go on a ride. Don't mind this, it's a little Vacoma Madhouse. Um, so basically it's a swing and the ride, the room spins around giving the illusion of going upside down. Really cool music, really good theme to it. Again, I just, it'd be better if the, a lot of this was covered over. You've got a couple of sections there, but that's that's about it really. And you've got this massive cattle pen queue line. So yeah, even in a nice hot sunny day, you've got to get, uh, get hot out here. But when it's raining like this, you've got to get wet. Not much you could do about it. Coast Guard HQ, that's also closed over there. So basically all the water rides are closed. So yeah, 15 minutes is it's not too bad of a wait really. Yeah, so it definitely wasn't 15 minutes. So we're straight in here. Yeah, I can't film on the ride unfortunately. Probably one of uh, one of only a few indoor rides that you can't film on here. Saying that I got told off for filming on Laser Raiders when I was here last. <laughs> Monster party to start. There you go, Haunted House Monster Party. Yeah, I got you a bit of footage in the uh, the queue line. Thankfully, it stopped raining, so I put my glass, put my glasses back on because I couldn't see anything. Yeah, that's um, it's a good ride. Um, it does make you feel a bit sick sometimes. The guy just come off and go, oh, I feel sick now. It is still quite odd to have something like that in a children's, technically a children's park, but yeah, a family park. Um, and yeah, they can be quite intense if you're not used to stuff like that. It's basically a big swing and then the room spins around as well, giving the illusion of going upside down. Really good music in there, light effects. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's better than last time I went on it. Last time I went on it, it was like creaking and yeah, it didn't look great. Still needs a bit of a clean inside it though. Don't think the train's running yet either. So you've got deep sea adventure here. Uh, I don't know what the time is for that. Uh, that says 15 minutes as well, but I'll walk down to um, down to flight the skyline now. It is a really nice park, and I say this every time I come. I do like Legoland. I'm a massive Lego nerd. I've got loads of sets, mainly the Star Wars sets. I've got like a Mini Cooper. I've got the um, Ghostbusters Ecto One car as well, and I'm gonna have to stop buying more Lego sets because I've run out of room. I've got I've got nowhere to put them, and I keep the boxes as well. I get told off, oh, put them in the bin, you don't need the boxes, but the, you got to keep the boxes and the instructions. So if you do break them, then you know how to fix them again. <laughs> and one thing I'm really obsessed with at the moment is the uh, Lego Masters as well. At the moment, it's the series in Australia and it's really, really good. Can't remember what channel it's on, it? channel four, channel five, channel, ch channel four, I think it's on. I love Lego Masters, it's so good. So yeah, Castle Hotel just here. I would like to stay in the hotels at some point. I really would. It's a really smart looking hotel actually. And anyone who's a fan of Tim the Tracker, they did a room tour hotel, or hotel room tour um, the other week. And they went to the new Peppa Pig world that's opened there, Peppa Pig theme park. It's actually at Legoland, obviously it's a Merlin owned brand park. And they're dubbing it as like the world's first Peppa Pig theme park. Well, it, technically it's not, you know, because Poulton's Park did it first. And then uh, Merlin come along and Merlin did actually want to buy Poulton's Park. And they t basically said, no, <laughs> you can't buy Poulton's Park because it is uh, one of the best family theme parks in the in the world. Actually, it's, it's winning a lot of awards. It's really popular. They've got a half term opening as well i think one of my friends went uh yesterday said it was really good there was there was only a couple of rides closed uh, which was the edge and something else cobra i think is closed as well but everything else is open but yeah there's not much room for expansion here at this park anymore really i think there is plans to build some new stuff they were planning on building like a a golf 
complex, like a, like a, a, a I don't know, some sort of golf complex. Um, but the car park, if you don't know, the car park here is massive. They, it really could expand and build something else. They could potentially build the Peppa Pig theme park on the car park they've got. It's, it's massive, the car park. But it gets very busy. It is the most popular theme park in the UK. Uh, so yeah, going over towards Mythica now, which was brand new a few years ago. And there's still Lego models around here. I mean, you've got the dinosaurs just here, which a lot of people tend to forget. But they used to be where the castle hotel is because there was a, like, a little tracks ride there with dinosaurs and things. And you've got the normal hotel just there as well. But oh, look how grey and miserable it is. Spots the rain on the camera as well. There you go. <laughs> just give them a quick wipe. Yeah, you've got the bites. Uh, outlet closed, beastly bites. That's closed. Oh, it's quite warm though today. It's not cold. 12 degrees. I could have done with just put my little jacket on, really. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the vlogs from Leeds, the two fairs. And like I said in a couple of previous vlogs, there isn't much else coming to the channel, unfortunately. Uh, when things open, I might go to the uh, press event, uh, not the press event, the pass holders event for Thorpe Park. Uh, probably wouldn't come back here now until later in the year, really. We've got one of the other rides closed. Like I said, all the water rides are closed during the winter season anyway. Oh, you can smell the chips from the Hungry Troll. Really good fish and chips there. Yeah, really good model that. So this is a re-themed ride. Squid Surfer it was before. So all the, uh, the little things you stand on, they're all missing. So they're obviously being taken away somewhere. It's such a good park and the theming around here is really cool. At night it's really good as well. You've got all these little figures down here. I mean, comment down below, what do you think is the best themed area in the UK now? This is up there with one of the best. I still think Tornado Springs at Poulton's Park is the best. Now, because I just love that. Americana sort of theme they've gone with. I think it's brilliant. And then obviously they've got the Farmyard Flyer, the other little kids coaster opening up this season as well. Uh, sometime in spring, I think it is. Let's go and see what uh, the wait times for Flight the Skylines on. It'll be like nearly an hour, I'm guessing. It's the most popular ride here now at the park. It's really busy. So 40 minutes, I think. It's worth waiting for though, it's, it's so good. Yeah, it's a big queue, 40 minutes. Have I got time? Well, it's half two now, park closes at four. It's the best, it's the best dark ride in the UK, but without a doubt, it's so good. The UK's first flying theatre. And 40 minutes, I can stand and wait for that, I think. Forty minutes. So yeah, so far I've waited thirty-seven minutes. I think we're on the top, on the top, uh, top deck. We've gone by these stairs. I don't think I've been on the top deck before, or have I? I think I have. When it first opened, unfortunately can't film on the ride. And yeah, I haven't got long until the park closes now. Yeah, it's so 37 minutes to this point. Oh, the doors just closed behind me. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, what well, a 40 minute ride uh, in total turned out to be just over an hour. <laughs> like halfway through the ride, it actually uh, it, it, it broke down, it stopped. There was a technical issue. So we was on there for quite a while. Oh, 
are you joking? Uh, somebody queuing outside. Oh, all right. One of the doors, it all about oh, and... oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I couldn't hear what they were saying on the tunnel, yeah. Oh, he's oh, just asked someone, oh, cheers, mate, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Someone at the bottom opened one of the doors and it just triggered the ride and stopped it. Uh, so I got a ride and a half. It actually started again and went back round again. But no, it's so good. You can see the building there. It was on the top floor and it's it's massive in there. It's, it is the best dark ride in the UK. It's not for everyone. You can hear people talking behind me that they felt a bit sick. And I mean, it does give me motion sickness as well. I'm just glad it's not 3D as well, because <laughs> it really would. But yeah, really good ride. Again, if you've not been to Legoland before and you've not experienced Flight the Skyline yet, you've got to come out here and, and try it, which is, you know, it's, it's an amazing ride. The first flying theatre in the UK. Um, so yeah, get yourself to Legoland. The, I mean, the whole area itself is really cool. There's like creature encounters just in here. And then you got a creature creation over there as well, where you can build some um, little models and stuff. I'll tell you what's quite interesting, with this weather we're getting at the moment, I just had a weather warning come on one of my weather apps. There's actually like a storm front coming down from the north of the country now, and we should get it about four or five o'clock. Um, and it's saying tornadoes. Um, yeah, so I don't know. So yeah, the wind's got to pick up and it's, it's a torrential rain doing so i'm gonna start heading back towards the uh, the exit now before it does come in i mean it is still pretty windy um it's, it's awful isn't it this weather what we're getting and it's got to continue throughout the week i tell you what i should have a weather youtube channel shouldn't i with all the weather information don't think the shows are on as well um during the uh, the brick week so yeah the time is currently now um, 20 to 4, so I don't think I've got time to go on anything else now, which is a bit of a shame, but I did get here, here, get here late anyway, and I knew that I only had like two hours to get around the park and go on some rides, but I've been here so many times, just have a look at the Lego shop, or oh, one of them anyway, Heart Lake Shopping Mall, I do love my Lego models, I really do, and I really want to go to Lego Belund in Denmark. So you've got the Lego exclusive set there as well, which is just here. That's pretty cool. Lego Windsor exclusive, £129. It's really cool. You've got a little dragon coaster and a few of the rides. Some clothing and things like that, some merch. These little city, city sets. Little teddies and stuff in here and some snacks. Mini figure workshop over there. So yeah, pretty awesome. Just scoot through here. And you got some of the brick heads as well. These are quite um, quite new, I think. Like pets. There's little dogs and cats. That's really cool. Little birds and things. Not seen those before. The flower. I like the little rabbits. Cool. Yeah, let's sort of start heading back out of the park now because I think a lot of rides are closed. Mia's riding adventures closed over there behind me. The train's not open, although the train is back there now. So yeah, I think they're closing some of the rides now. There's still loads of people in the park, so yeah, I don't know if it's technical fault or anything. The uh, the two drop towers, they were broken. Well, they were, I say broken, they were down. They were, they were closed as well as I walked past them a minute ago. Let's see what Laser Raiders is on. I mean, I do have the app. But I like to uh, physically see what it says on the on the door as well. So yeah, I got told off for filming last time I was on it. Basically, I sat down with my GoPro in my hand, and he's like, "Can you put your GoPro away?" Twenty minutes. Yeah, I think I'll start heading out of the park. You got the little scarab bouncers in there as well. Yeah, I'll start heading out of the park. I think. I don't think I'll have time to do anything else. It is really weird how the park closes in 20 minutes, yet there's still thousands of people in here. I suppose a lot of people get their money's worth if you haven't got a meal and annual pass. It's, a, it's an expensive day out, especially for families anyway. So yeah, Lego Ninjago up there as well. 
go and see what the time is for that. In fact, I'll get my phone out and then I'll, I'll have a look on the app, see what rides are, rides availability. I'll do that right now. So yeah, I've got a lot of the apps on my phone anyway. So what's closed? Oh yeah, fire and ice free fall is closed. Yeah, temporarily closed. And me is riding adventures closed. Flight the Skyline still on 40 minutes. Duplo Dino Coasters 30 minutes. Lego Ninjago's 20 minutes. The Dragon's only on 15 minutes. So I might walk down that way and get on a coaster while I'm here. Not a massive fan of Ninjago. It's a cool dark ride though. Uh, just not a fan of the <laughs> all the hand action. Would have been much better if it was a gun. Yeah, 20 minutes to sail on there as well. Yeah, everything else is like five or ten minutes really. Not surprised the park closed is in 15 minutes now, so yeah, let's go over to the dragon before it closes. So I'm walking past Jolly Rocker and why like, what's wrong with that picture? Um yeah. Half of it's not there, it's, it's down for uh, annual maintenance. So this will be back open uh, when the park reopens again. In, uh, when did I say, March, end of March. Yeah, it's like totally gone, all the framework and everything. It's just basically just the uh, the boat itself left there. All the, all the frame and supports is all gone. Now that's interesting to see, isn't it, how they've left that there and I mean the crane will obviously pick it up and out of the way when they put the frame back there's the play park just there so walk round to uh, the dragon yeah I, I do love Legoland <laughs> I'll come here as much as I want really because it's my local park now since we've moved down south um, Pirate Falls really good log flume here not been on that for ages <laughs> every time I come it's closed <laughs> Get me Costa coffee as well before I leave. Well, I was saying that I've gone off Costa. I'm more into Starbucks now. I have soya milk, and I think um, Costa have changed the, the the milk that they use, the soy milk that they use, because they're, they're actually owned by Coca-Cola now. So yeah, in tonight's kingdom, that's quite around here. We've got a few rides. Got the dragon over there, Dragon's Apprentice at the bottom, which is the little dragon coaster. And Merlin's Challenge, little flat ride here. There's not many people waiting for that. But yeah, if you haven't seen any of the other vlogs I've done, I uh, normally come at Christmas as well. It's a really good Christmas event they do. Again, it's pretty much the same offering that's open at the moment. Might as well keep the camera rolling, I know it's the longest vlog in the world. Oh. <laughs> 15 minutes, is there a queue up there? No, I can't see anyone up there, might be straight into the station with this one. Right, let's go, the dragon. Again, unfortunately, can't film on this one. It's a shame really because it's uh, it's a really good ride, it's basically a dark ride uh, mixed in with a really good coaster that goes sort of outside, it's not the most extreme coaster but it's a really good one for the families. Yeah there's no queue at all really, I'll be straight into the station with this one which is good because I've got like 10 minutes until the park closes so I'll get some views up here. Yeah, there you go, that's the, the out, outdoor section of the coaster. The Dragon's Apprentice just down there. There you go, that's, the, that's just been sent. It's really good, I love that. And the theming's great in here. It's really cool. Yeah, I'll see you, uh, I'll see you when I come off the ride. Echo, echo. <laughs> Ooh. It's got a good echo in there.
that's it that's my day over yeah uh, last ride of the day on the dragon really good ride i love that it's such a classic and pretty much every new Legoland part that gets built or even the existing ones they all have the same ride it's ten some of them are technically different coasters you know that's a very unique one it was a, a British engineer some of British engineering I think they were called I think big big motion engineering uh, is the manufacturer of that they also did the uh, apprentice dragon's apprentice as well rhombus rocky and the jellikins coaster and a couple of the little ones around the uk but the other ones are normally like vacomas and that sort of thing we are actually heading out of the park now um it's i still think it's funny i said before about thousands of people still wandering around the park at when it's like 20 to 4 when the park's closing there's people walking up to the dragon expecting it to still be open it's uh what time is it now it's 10 past four <laughs> And there's people still wanting to go on rides. I can't even get a coffee now because the coffee shop's closed. The one on the top should still be open. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, if you do see me about in the parks, come and say hello. I actually got a message on the Coaster Crazy. You can message me on, on the Facebook page if you want to do that. Not a problem. Amy Reynolds. Um, hi, if you're watching. I'm heading up to the exit now, so if you are there, I'll... I come and say hello. Um, she was just saying that she was in the flight the skyline queue. Um, Wonder if I broke it, but no. <laughs> Someone opened the door. But yeah, I want to get out of here now before this weather picks up because it's it's getting pretty windy now. But I, I love Legoland. I will be back, but not not for a while now. Not until the the full season kicks in. Try and normally get a, a day off during the week and come because the weekends it's absolutely rammed. So. If you can come during the week, that's the best time to come. So yeah, head up to the uh, exit now. So walking back through Miniland now uh, towards the exit and there's literally hundreds of people in here. I just realized that the uh, the hill train's not working. I think you can just see it there on the hill. It's, yeah, I don't know if it's down for maintenance or it's down because the park's closed. Well, a couple, 15 minutes ago now. So, gives me time to walk through Summer Miniland. We're going past London here. And yeah, the uh, the winds were pretty bad at the weekend. Well, especially on Friday. Uh, someone I know drives a tower crane in London. He recorded 136 miles an hour. Well, this one isn't having any problems, is he? He's still working in the wind. Yeah, uh, really cool. So yeah, it's a tower crane. Shame it's not yellow, but never mind. A blue will do. <laughs> there isn't many blue tower cranes in London, to be honest. So yeah, walking back up now. To the exit, yeah, like I say, it's still pretty busy here. Oh, I've got to go up all these now. Oh, I'll get my steps in anyway. It's good exercise, better than staying at home doing nothing. Right, I've got to finish the vlog up in my uh, favourite spot here. That amazing view of London and Windsor in the background. Yeah, I've had a, an alright couple of hours really. Just got me, me Costa crazy. Uh, it's, not, it's not as good as Starbucks, unfortunately. <laughs> but no, it's, I've, I've had a good couple of hours here. Been on three rides, so I was it sort of expected that, especially when it took an hour to do um, Flight the Skyline. It's still a really good ride. And uh, yeah, I want to get out of this park now before this weather comes in. But yeah, I will be back uh, later in the year. Not not for a while now, um, until like the main season starts. I've been to Legoland quite a lot in, in recent times. Uh, Christmas events really good. And it's just good that they, they, you know, they, they do the, uh, the February half term event because some parks don't do anything. Um, like for instance, Thought Park, it's probably got the shortest opening hours of any theme park in the UK. They don't do a Christmas event or anything like that. So, I mean, they're, they're normal seasons from like March till uh, October, end of October, then after Halloween it closes. Um, Alton Towers, they're doing a very early uh, event this year. I can't remember the name of it, some sort of thrills event or something. That looks all right. And then they've got the Mardi Gras and all that coming back. Chessington's the same. They're doing a February half term. Again, it's not, you know it's a very limited offering 
of rides, but they've got the zoo and stuff like that as well. Uh, Drayton Manor, obviously Blackpool weekends as well. So yeah, get yourselves out. I mean, the weather's not great. Like I said, this this coming week for for the kids being off, it's going to be awful weather. But yeah, just look at the view here; it's amazing. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this Legoland Windsor Resort vlog Brick Week. Um, it's a long title, yeah, but here it is, Brick Brick Week. It's, it's there on the screen, Brick Week. Um, yeah, so I hope you've had a good one. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.